Once the job was done, it was also about Sonny. I'm so happy for Sonny. I really am. He got exactly what he deserved, and that is that golden boot, um, which he kept saying it to everyone was very heavy. It was. Um, and what they did before the game, they had two golden boots ready, one at Carrow Road and one at Anfield, um, for either either or um, Mohamed Salah and, and Sonny. Um, and there was one moment in particular I just felt... Well, there's two moments, but one moment mainly with the fans that I felt summed up the love for Sonny at Tottenham Hotspur. So the fans had got wind that Sonny had already scored twice and the fans got wind that Salah had kind of scored that scruffy goal uh, for Liverpool. And they all started singing, you know, the old the Sonny chant, which used to be used for Cyril Knowles back in the day. But, you know, nice one, Sonny, nice one, son. Nice one, Sonny, let's have another one. Because they were trying to tell him Salah scored and he might score against you might need another one or even alone you might need another one if you want to just have the golden boot on your own and I just thought that was lovely it was a real moment of them trying to communicate with him and that bond um, that they wanted him to score another one because well in the end he didn't actually need it because he didn't need another one um, because he did share that golden boot with 23 goals and it cannot be stressed enough no penalties no penalties. That's just, you know, we were trying to look back to work out whoever, if anyone else had done it. I think we found Luis Suarez did because Gerard used to take the penalties, I think, for Liverpool. Um, this is Premier League we're talking about. And also, we think Mane might have did it when he shared the golden boot with Salah and Aubameyang a few years back. But it's rare. It's very rare. To score 23 goals all from open play is is superb. It really is. It's some achievement. Um, do you know what? It was a point where we thought it might not happen. because, And I think Sonny thought it might not happen because he was having a battle with Tim Krull. You know, Tim Krull was saving shots from all over the place. Um, and to be fair to Harry Kane, who, you know, he didn't start in the season too badly himself. Even Kane's stats... He went from scoring once in his first 13 games to netting 16 in his last 24. But for Kane, I almost felt like the match was all about him trying to set up Sonny. He had so many moments where he tried to put him away. There was one one-on-one -on -one he put him through into the box. The one where he had the shot literally for about three yards was Kane's ball across the face of goal that Krull saved. Kane was trying everything, and I love that about that partnership as well. I love that, that he's trying to, to help Sonny. It's not just about Kane... You know, because Kane wasn't that far back. In the end, Kane ended up fourth top scorer. You know, if he'd had, he's, he's had final days, I think, against Hull. Did he scored three or four on the last day. He, he's quite the prolific goal scorer. So it may have been a part of him that thought, Norwich really collapsed. You never know. But it wasn't. It was all about helping Sonny. And what was lovely was that um, Sonny um, said as well that when Lucas and Bergwijn came off the bench, they both told him that they wanted to set him up for goals. They said, we're going to set you up. And I love that. And even you saw Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky tried so hard <laughs> in one moment when he rounded Krull to set up Son when he could have scored quite easily. He ended up kind of tangling his own feet and like stubbing the ball with his standing right foot as he kind of was almost falling over. And it ended up being tackled kind of right on the line, Son he was. And it was... It was so unfortunate because you could see what he was trying to do. It just didn't quite happen. And Son was getting more and more frustrated because I think he could just see this wonderful opportunity slipping away. But then, true to his word, Lucas Mora did the job. He set him up. He did a lovely little touch. little touch on the spin. Went to Sonny. Bang. Straight into the bottom right corner. And then, of course, to top it all off, Cuts inside. I think it was a Lucas free kick that was cleared out. Sonny takes the ball, comes inside and curls an absolute trademark Sonny special into that right-hand side, just inside the post. And the irony, and Sonny kind of said it after, has got some Sonny quotes in here. He scored the harder chances and he actually didn't put away the easier chances, which is so funny uh, in a way because it just sums him up. Technically, he's just so fantastic in what you can do. Sometimes the most simple things for some unknown reason, maybe he out thinks, it, uh, thinks about it too much, I don't know, um, and then he'll come up and he'll just produce a world-class finish. Both finishes were unsavable. They were superb, and the celebration was lovely for his second one. 
Um, he sprinted over and lo and behold, it was Ben Davies, you know, his best mate. He jumped into Ben Davies' arms. Ben Davies was kind of running backwards with him. I think there was a point when the Welshman probably thought, I might drop him here. Uh, this could be really awkward. So he kind of span and threw him onto the ground with him. Um, and that just created a big bundle. And then as they came up, Lucas grabbed him and yanked him into the air and just got. And it was all in front of the travelling Tottenham fans who were brilliant yesterday. They were so loud. Um, it was lovely. You know, when you want to see good things happen to good people, that so applies to Sonny. He is such a nice guy. He's He's got that drive, though. He's got that little streak inside him that, you know, for all of the talk about him not being wanting individual awards, he wanted that golden boot. And I love that. I think that's really important. I think the top players have that drive. And, you know, he is a humble guy and he will think about the team first. But I love the fact that he also wanted that um, that prize. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was super. I'm trying to see if I've got the quotes for you. So, here we are. It's incredible to have this award. I can't believe it. I got really emotional. I dreamed of it as a child. Literally, it's in my hand. I can't believe it. Until my goal, I was really frustrated that I missed big chances. I told the players I missed the easiest chances and scored one of the toughest ones. I didn't give up. I wanted to score today. The team helped me a lot at half time. They wanted to help me. You could see it today. This season was a great lesson. Next season, we can look forward to the Champions League. Everyone deserves to be there. Conte gives us so many different things. Before he came here, nobody believed we'd reach the Champions League. Um, and I actually, I asked Conte about Sonny as well, because I even tried to make out the point in my questions, like, you know, I know you wanted team first and the team did the job and then it was Sonny, you must be delighted for him. But he's still kind of wanting to hammer home the point about the team. And he said, uh, you know very well what I said during my press conference. I said, OK, but before we need to get a place in the Champions League, then if there's a possibility to help Sonny to become top scorer in the league, then we are very happy. He scored twice and he could have scored more, but at the same time, I want to underline the big effort the team did for Sonny. To see this, I really appreciated the will, the desire of the teammates to help him become top scorer. I mean, that there, it means that there is a great atmosphere in the dressing room. It means that the players are really good people, not only good players. We were good to match today these two targets to get a place in the Champions League and for Sonny to win the golden boot. It's a magnificent achievement for him. I felt, I think Sonny felt a bit of pressure to reach this target, but we are very happy for him. Today we had two targets. The first was to get into the Champions League and then to try and help Sonny to become top scorer. So we're very happy. And it, it was great. I mean, 